think when you uh, hear the scale of the devastation in terms of lives that have been lost and in terms of destruction of uh, people's schools and homes and hospitals, um, you can't help but be moved by this. And uh, uh, the Chinese people and the Canadian people are good friends. Of course, we have a wonderful big uh, Chinese uh, community here in Ontario. And I think it's the least you can do uh, to come here and really try to express just by being here your sincere condolences and your sympathies and your understanding of the fact that many, many families and many, many people have had their lives uh, taken or uh, very, uh, very badly uh, victimized by this earthquake. And so I'm just here to express my condolences. What do you think about like America can do anything to help? Well, I think in the past uh, they have uh, put up money, as Mr. Harper's government has done in Ottawa, to match the donations uh, of uh, private citizens here in, in Ontario. And I think uh, this was a good thing for the tsunami and other occasions like that, uh, tragedies like that. Uh, and I think uh, they might want to look at uh, what often happens with this fundraising is that a month or two later, people have forgotten about these things. It's a sad commentary, but people forget and they think it's all sorted out. And so maybe in a couple of months it might be good if the Ontario government would step up and say they would match donations that would come in for a period of time to get some new people uh, giving money because it does tend to tail off after a while uh, when people don't see it on the news every night. I think given the fact that here in Ontario we have, uh, you know, I think 500,000 uh, people of uh, Chinese uh, background, uh, that it would be appropriate. Uh, they pay their taxes, they're wonderful contributing members of our business community and every part of our community. And I think for the Ontario government to say perhaps in a month or two that they would uh, match some contributions that might be taken up at that time would be a very good way to help. And uh, I would hope that they might think about that. And Canada is a monocultural country. We will appeal to other communities like to support this, this kind of right, relief. I know when I, uh, at the time of the tsunami, at the time of the, uh, the um, earthquake in Pakistan, it was people from every corner of the Ontario community who stepped up to help. Uh, all kinds of people who had nothing to do with Pakistan or nothing to do uh, with uh, the countries affected by the tsunami stepped up to help. And I'm sure as we continue to raise more money, and I was out helping to raise money last Friday, I'm sure that uh, as that happens we're seeing people from every walk of life in Ontario make a contribution and that's as it should be because we're all fellow human beings and we all have a great deal of respect and affection for uh, the Chinese people and for the Chinese community here in Ontario. I, I feel on the one hand, uh, to be honest, so lucky, and I think Canadians have to remind themselves how lucky they are that we just don't have natural disasters of this scale in our country. But I think what that does is it makes you understand um, just how overwhelming uh, these things are in terms of the law. Tens of thousands of people have lost their lives. Others haven't been accounted for yet. Millions of people are without their homes. Um, and I, I remember soon was and also having been in Pakistan at the site of the earthquake, um, it's hard to imagine how devastating these things are. Uh, having seen that, I'll never forget seeing those things, buildings that were flattened, um, uh, people who were still living in temporary tents a year and a half after the tsunami, and so my heart just goes out to the Chinese people and uh, lots of people here in Ontario who I'm sure have friends and relatives who are affected by this, and uh, that's why I tried to go and help raise a little bit of money. I even sang to raise money last Friday, which I'm sure scared some people, but to uh, raise a little bit of money to come here today to uh, sign the book of condolences, really just to sort of uh, do whatever I could to show as one leader here how much I cared about this and how much